This is No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 2871. I'm your host, Jeff Altman, the Big Game Hunter, and welcome. People are sending me lots of questions. And Tuesdays, I've been doing something on LinkedIn, YouTube, and on Facebook called Career Coach Office Hours. So if you've got a live question for me, noon at noon Eastern on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on the Jeff Alpin the Big Game Hunter page, or on YouTube, you can ask me questions live. I'm happy to answer them. On LinkedIn, if you can't make the show live, very simply mark that you'll attend. Send me the question through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the Big Game Hunter. I'll answer the question and by marking it uh, by marking that you'll attend, you'll be able to watch the replay and get your answer. Now today, I've got another question for someone, and from someone, which is, why do new hires get fired within the first 90 days? Hope you find this helpful. Please share it on LinkedIn. Please share it elsewhere. There are a lot of folks looking for work. This will help them. Also, I want to encourage you, if you're not already subscribed to No BS Job Search Advice Radio, do it. Subscribe. Apple uh, Apple Podcasts, it's an audio podcast. Most places, it, it's audio. On Spotify, it's a video podcast. So just subscribe, download, listen. You'll enjoy it. It's a seven-day-a-week show, but short episodes. And I'll be back in just one moment. I read this blog about new hires. It makes perfect sense to me. So why do employers terminate new hires in 90 days? Well, I want to start off with the premise that if a person isn't putting in effort in the first 90 days, this is the period where people get all gung-ho. They're excited about their new job. They want to put on a good show, and then they don't. And a firm may have an agency fee hanging over their head that's fairly substantial. Even if they don't, This is the time where you're supposed to be trying hard to learn within the environment how things are done. Putting in maximum effort to demonstrate that your employer made a good choice. Then you complete probation at the 90 days. You're a permanent employee, and it's harder for them to get rid of you. So they'd rather do it at that point within the first 90 days to avoid an agency fee, to avoid the fact that you're going to try even less hard over the balance of this period of time. Because again, if you're not trying, if you're not learning, if you're not putting in effort during the first 90 days, when are you going to start? Really, when are you going to start? So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a couple of ways I can help you even more. First of all, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Mention that you listen to or watch the show. I like knowing I'm helping some people. Also, join me at jobsearch.community. Now, whether you become an insider or not, there's a lot of stuff on the homepage to help you. Books, guides, video courses, videos, some good stuff to help you. And if you become an insider, you get access to all my video courses, books, and guides, and you can ask me questions and I log in daily to respond to everyone. If you become an Insider Plus member, all the same stuff I've mentioned to you before, plus you can get me on a Zoom call to answer your questions more immediately. And if you're interested in one-on-one or group coaching, become an Insider Premium member. There's a lot there that we'll work on to help you land your next job. And you get all the other content as well. Hope you have a terrific day, and most importantly, be great.